I think I don't take English for granted. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely the language I'm the most fluent in and the most comfortable in. Mm -hmm. But I have spoken in other languages where I haven't been able to express myself mm -hmm. as well because I can't quite get a word. And I don't usually have that problem in English. Mm -hmm. But it makes me appreciate the value of every word. I think maybe differently because, and I'm very careful with the words I use, mm -hmm. and I tend to be a bit of a stickler thanks to my mother, you know, um, who is an English literature major and uh, has a master's in English literature and, and always said to us, don't, you know, and I think things like not using filler words and things like that, which are very American tendencies, but other languages have a little bit of that, but not in the same way. Um, so maybe those are the those are the ways. I think the other thing is that um, I look for words that, in some ways, have universal meanings. So I tend to not be an academic speaker. I tend to not put concepts into academic um, ways of thinking. Um, there are different situations where I'll use more analysis in a speech, but. I tend to try to find words that will resonate for people no matter where they come from because we do have such diverse populations that we're speaking to and my audiences in particular tend to be very diverse. I look for those audiences and so um, I want the, the speech to be something that everybody can resonate with. Mm -hmm.